everything you're saying makes a lot of sense to me, and I think it makes a lot of sense to the people who are listening. I know you've said, if we the people lead, the government will follow. Do you think the government is listening this time? Because I think, you know, we're expressing our opinions all the time, but a lot of people feel like the government's not listening. It's a very interesting question because I don't have an answer to that. The answer to that would again put me into the box of uh, waiting for something to happen. I'm not going to wait for government to come to me and say, gosh, I'm, I'm listening to you. It's their job to listen to the people who put them there. Um, I am just hoping that enough voices from outside parliament will just attract their attention. And I have a feeling that some members of parliament have also sent in their selfies. Um, I've recognized a few members of the ANC, not as members of the ANC, but people that I personally know, who have also sent in their selfies with their message, and their message is protect the Constitution. Um, look, let us always remember that there are far more and better people in our political structures than bad people. I mean, the rotten ones, the crooks, the people who should be kicked out are on the front pages, and the sooner they go, the better. But there are much more people in the ANC, in the government, in the municipalities, in every aspect of, of government that are doing their jobs. Otherwise, you know, we would not be calmly sitting here on Skype chatting to each other. We would be sitting in a bomb shelter because we would be Syria. We are not Syria. We are having some very serious speed wobbles in our democracy, which is expected in a democracy, because everybody's fingerprints are on the silver chalice of freedom. But don't forget that we still have freedom of expression and freedom of speech. And the one side of that means shout and scream, and the other side is do it in an entertaining way, which is more likely to attract attention. So maybe on the 12th, when Parliament opens and everybody's shouting and shouting pay back the money, suddenly somebody would say, hang on, just listen. And Parliament will be quiet, and they will listen to a sound outside the door. And that sound will come from the street, it'll come from the highway, it'll come from the suburb, from the township, from the squatter camp, from Constantia, from Santon, from Nkunu. It'll be the sound of the people saying, excuse me, people in Parliament, enough is enough. Let's sort this thing out. Who knows? We might do it in a few days' time. Now, I want to talk about this anthem that we've been hearing about that is expected to go onto YouTube. Has that been published yet? Uh, the anthem has been, it's, it's in the process of being completed. Uh, all the back track, backing tracks are done. Uh, the, the voices are being added tomorrow. It's being filmed tomorrow and hopefully by Monday, Tuesday, it'll be out there. I don't want to say any more because I don't want to jump the gun here, but it's been, it's been put together and it's being sung and rhythmicalized by two of our great rock stars and um, taking a hint from Bob Geldof, uh, that great old Berghi who has done so much to communicate important things through music. We hope that this extraordinary anthem, for the want of a better word, I'll wait till they give it a name, uh, will actually take the message through, especially to young South Africans who really truly listen to rhythm and sound of singing uh, before they listen to the message and the finger wag. Uh, so hopefully it'll be out by next week before Parliament opens. And who knows, maybe they will dance to the tune when they march into Parliament uh, on, on, the, on the 12th of, of February. I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to it very much. Tani Vita's also in it. That's why she's not here. She's um, at the hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually really excited to hear that anthem and thank you for starting such a refreshing campaign and allowing people out there who thought that they weren't getting heard to, to be heard and be a part of the bigger picture. Can you remind me once more how everyone can submit their selfie to the Commit Your Selfie campaign because they only have one day left? Yes, you have one day left. You have till uh, the end of tomorrow, Saturday uh, the 9th, um, you have to take your selfie, meaning a little photograph on your cell phone and then you can tweet it of course you can if you're on the Twitter but if you haven't got a tweet arrangement just email it on your cell phone you go to email and email it to evita selfie one word evita selfie at gmail.com and um, give it to us because when that anthem is put together on visuals uh, on a on a video or DVD uh, the selfies will be part of it uh, it'll be wonderful to be part of that extraordinary, um, like a lapis combat of opinion. Uh, and so uh, 
There we go, as we say in the struggle, a luta continua with a smile. <laughs>